Right, here we go. <clears throat> Bit of testing on the Garand animation. Doesn't look too bad at all in sped up version. Let's try it with the grenade launcher. Now let's try it with the camera mode on. So oh god. What is it about this camera? The controls are so bad. Here we go. So he's not really pulling the bolt back. You could see that his hand just went back. Now he's coming back with a clip. And his hand goes forward and then back again. I'm not really sure what's going on there. then pushes the clip down but it's a little, little bit out of alignment but it's not bad and then his hand sort of goes through the rifle before dropping back into the hand on him let's just watch that again so from this side So you'll see it doesn't pull the bolt back. The, the old clip comes out. He brings up the new one. And he goes way past the loading port. Then he comes all the way back again. And then the clip appears. And he pushes it down and in. And then watch the left hand now clips like shit through the front of the gun before dropping down into its stable position. So let's have a look at the rifle grenade. Same with the camera on. Alright, that should work. So he pulls the gun back towards himself. That all looks good. Reaches back for a grenade. I like that a lot. Up comes the hand. And the grenade appears and goes down. I mean, he's not exactly gripping it because of the angle and everything. The angle of the hand probably needs to be rotated. But it's okay. I mean, it, it's very passable. So just again in... So that looks pretty good to me. You know, if you're not really looking for it, you're not going to see it. Out of ammo.
How does it work prone, actually? No, it doesn't. It needs a prone animation. Otherwise his spine's going to break. Yeah, that's great. Oh, looks good. I bet this looks really bad. <laughs> Thought it might do. Right. All in all, not bad. <laughs> 